in this video we'll aim at simplifying okay the complement system now complement system is something the students find very difficult because there are a lot of numbers lot of complexes and a lot of flow charts involved and that's why most of them hate it so in this video what we're going to do is we're going to simplify this to as simple as it can get okay so what's the complement system complement system is nothing but a part of the immune system which complements it okay how does it do it forms 5 to 15 percent of the plasma proteins and it acts in response to some of the harmful stimulus like microbes antigen antibody complexes and toxins and all those things now why is it difficult because there are four pathways and you have to remember the flow of all four and that's why people find it difficult but if you follow this simple trick it will get as easy as possible now four pathways start off in three different ways you have the classic pathway you have the manus binding pathway and you have the alternate pathway and even though they start off in three different ways they have to end in the same way that is they all get funneled into the terminal pathway now what's the terminal pathway initial later c5 splits into c5a and c5b and c5b later add gets added to some other complexes and forms mac that is the membrane attacking complex which causes lysis of the enemy cell okay it causes lysis of the enemy cell so it's pretty simple it starts off in four different ways depending upon the stimulus so if you are getting a different type of stimulus it will follow a different initial pattern but in the end it has to form a mac that's it okay now next we're going to the flow chart be perfect with this it starts off in a different way but it in the end it has to go through the same thing it's pretty simple we'll see the flow chart okay so we have the classical pathway we have the manus binding pathway and we have the alternate pathway now classical pathway is stimulated by antigen antibody complexes manus binding because of manus residues in foreign cells like bacteria and alternate pathway is stimulated by toxins or microbes or tumor cells okay now classical and manos start with c1 getting converted to c1 a okay so the stimulus causes this conversion and c1 a helps in attachment of c4 to c2 leads to the formation of c4 b and c2 a which then converts helps convert c3 to c3 a and c3 b so we are going to call c4 b 2 a as c3 convertase because it's helping c3 convert now this is common for both okay the alternate pathway also eventually ends up here but first we'll finish off with this now c3 b attaches with the c3 convertase and forms c4 b 2 a 3 b this is c5 convertase which converts c5 to c5a and c5b and as earlier mentioned c5b with c6 c7 c8 c9 forms the membrane activating com attacking complex and it leads to the lysis of the foreign cell okay it's simple c1 gets activated which leads to the formation of c3 convertase which converts c3 which leads to the formation of c5 convertase which converts c5 and the end okay now in the alternate pathway it starts with c3 which with stimulus becomes c3b to which factor b is added and in the presence of factor d forms c3bbb which is also c3 convertase yeah but since we're in the alternate pathway we'll call it the alternate c3 convertase so same reaction now 
C3B gets added to C3B, B, 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 which forms C3B, B, B, 3B. This is a C5 convertase. Since we are in the alternate pathway, we'll call it the alternate C5 convertase and it does the same thing. And then the end again. So if the question was, which is the most important complex in the complement system, the answer would be C3 because it is involved in all three pathways. Yeah. So that's how it works. So one more important PG point would be if the question was, how do you differentiate if the classical pathway has been activated or the alternate pathway? It's pretty simple. You see the initial things. If we have normal factor B level, okay, normal factor B level in the blood, it means that alternate pathway was not activated. Okay, that means classical pathway was activated. And if you have a decreased normal factor B level, that means alternate pathway was activated. Okay, in case they have not given factor B in the question, then look at C1, C2 and C4. If these things are reduced, that means the classical pathway was activated. And if these are in normal condition, that means the alternate pathway was activated. Because these three get used up in the classical pathway. Okay, I hope you guys liked it. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in my next one.